This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to continue to discuss paragraph formatting. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to Open, and in the Sample Files folder, scroll down to 0706, Making Type Span Columns, and just click Open. Span Columns is a feature that was introduced in CS5 that solves a long-standing problem. If you have a headline going across columns, is there a way that throughout your publication, no matter what it may be, you can make the space between the baseline of your headline and the three columns always the same thing? Well, there really was no good answer for this until CS5, but there were a lot of workarounds, most of which weren't very good. Let me show you one of those workarounds. You can go to your selection tool and just select the headline. And now go to the bottom bounding box point and double click on that bounding box point. And it makes the box, the text frame, fit the type. So it's right on the baseline of the type. You can see the descenders actually stick outside. Now I can go to my selection tool and select both the headline and the three column frame below. And I can drag from my ruler a guide that snaps to, let's say, the lower left hand corner of my headline frame. And then click and drag on the ruler and drag off a guide that goes to the upper left corner of my three columns of text. Now go to my rectangle and just click and drag from guide to guide. And it's making a frame that I can then use again as kind of like a spacing guide to make this spacing between the headline and the three lines of type equal. Not a very good solution. So Adobe came up with span columns. If you click and drag and go down to the next frame, you'll see that this headline and the three columns of text are all in the same frame. Let me get an insert point in my headline by double clicking with my selection tool someplace within that frame. And now go to my paragraph panel. And if I go under the options menu, I can go to span columns. Make sure that preview is checked. And for the paragraph layout, click down and choose instead of single column, span columns. And you'll see that now the headline spans the columns, and they're both in the same frame. But to solve the problem, I also have space before span and space after span. And if I start clicking up, you'll see that at a certain point, the three columns of text actually starts moving away. It's a bit much. Let me do that. Good. Now I can just click OK and because I had saved this as a headline style for my entire publication, if I go to my paragraph style, you'll see headline has a little plus next to it. And if I go under my options menu of the paragraph styles panel, I can go to the fourth listing, which is redefine style. And now you can see the plus has gone away, and any place I had a headline in my entire document would be redefined to that change. So all of my headlines would span across my columns. And I can also do this if I wanted. Let's say I had a two-line headline. I'm just going to get an insert point and then press Shift Return or Shift Enter. And you can see the space remains consistent in the second line of the headline down to the three columns of type. Kind of cool. Let me undo that. Another problem that's been solved by span columns is short lists like this, where there aren't that many words. You can see it's leaving this huge hole in the column. Well, if I select this entire list, let me just zoom in a bit so we can see this better and go back to my type tool. 
and I go to the paragraph panel and under the options menu go to span columns instead of my paragraph layout being a single column I'm going to split the column and it's right now splitting it into two columns if I had a wider column I could possibly split it into three but then there's lots of other choices as there are for span columns I can do space before my split. So if I wanted to add a little bit of space above, you can see it's moving it down. Space above the split. And also this space after. So at a certain point, it's going to move down and feel like a separate element within my layout. And there's also an inside gutter, which is this, between the two columns that it's setting up. So if I increase that, it's going to move the type over further because now it's making this gutter in here bigger. Let me get rid of that. And there's an outside gutter too, which will push the type in from both sides from the edge of this particular column. Let me do that, and you can see it's moving them in. Let me go back down to zero and click OK. And this too has been set up as a style, a number style. So let me go under paragraph styles. And of course, I could now update this as well. Redefine style. And anywhere I have a numbered list, it's going to make that same change. It's going to be applied. We're going to continue discussing paragraph formatting in the next lesson.